G'day folks, my name is Logie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my first impressions of the game Recipe for Disaster. Now if you are new to my channel, you won't know that I play a very wide variety of games. So there's always a little bit of something for everyone. So if you are wanting unbiased reviews, guides, tips and you know a few laughs, generally at my expense, then go ahead, hit subscribe and join in the fun. But to the task at hand, recipe for disaster. At its core, it is a restaurant themed uh, simulation tycoon type game. Um, it's currently in early access and available to play is the entire campaign series which gives you a, a number of different starting conditions, um, obstacles and challenges to overcome as it showcases throughout the campaign what is available to do within the game and basically kind of teaches you as, as you go along. There is a multiplayer and a free play mode um, in development, but there's sort of no kind of time frame of when that will be available. But considering it's early access and, you know, to be able to play right through the campaign, I think that that is an excellent starting point. So we'll break down the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, there is a tutorial that runs you through the basics. Uh, menu customization is huge you not only can control what recipes are on the menu you can adjust the price you can even create new recipes and add them if you if you want when customers are requesting something that's not on the menu the game provides you with a basic version of that recipe which you can add into the menu and then you can further enhance if you want to with staff, as they improve their skills, they earn different perks, which makes them more efficient or more useful, uh, or both. It depends on which perks you get offered and which ones you choose. The bad. While there is a tutorial, it doesn't quite cover everything. For example, in the tutorial it does not tell you how to rotate objects when you're placing them now normally if something like that isn't covered in the tutorial you would just go into options look at key binding you know and you'd find where it is that, that there's no option to change key binding so key binding is not listed in the options of recipe for disaster so you know, uh, figuring stuff out like that that really should have been in the tutorial. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's just, you know, swing and a miss from the dev there. Uh, by the way, if you want to rotate objects, it's the R key. Uh, another thing that the tutorial doesn't cover and the game kind of hides is how to change uniforms. You find quite easily how to design and create your own uniforms, but when you get into the game, you're not entirely sure how to then access them. Um, the directions on how to create a new recipe when you're going through the tutorial has the potential to be a bit confusing. I can see how any number of players might get tripped up by that the ugly now there it's early access okay so there are any number of things that are slightly annoying or not quite right and that's to be expected when a game is in early access the dev is actively engaging with players for feedback taking on constructive criticism and you know I see the work that's already gone into the game and the way that the developer is interacting with the players and I can see no reason to categorise anything in this game currently as ugly. 
Um, I'm quite sure that in time, recipe for disaster will shine. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. If you ever played Restaurant Empire, I think you're going to love Recipe for Disaster, which has more detail and gives you more control over just about everything. Is it worth the price? Absolutely. I think considering you can play the full campaign and the price point it's currently set at at the time of recording, it is well worth the spend. And with these sort of games and what's been presented in early access, this is, you know, kind of a typical sort of status of a game that I'm quite happy to support the dev by purchasing at early access because I can see how much work's been put into it and I can see that further, you know, that continuation of that work. So there you go, guys. That's my thoughts and impressions on Recipe for Disaster. Uh, if you've played it and, you know, would like to tell me what you think of it, do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? Drop it in the comments. Let's get the conversation started. But for now, stay slinky. And I'll see you in the next video.